What's up, it's Dilly Dollars. I'm an artist and a social media influencer. I'm suing my ex, Isabella, for $4,000 she owes me for unpaid tolls, car insurance, and studio sessions. My name is Isabella. I'm a bartender. I do bottle service. I model. I'm a video vixen. My ex-boyfriend is suing me because he says that he allegedly spent $4,000 on me during the course of our relationship. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't owe him a dollar. Me and Bella, we met at a video shoot. I actually needed a model, and I used her in the video. She was the sweetest girl. She was genuine. And then towards the end of the relationship, I started noticing she's nothing but a gold digger. He wants to call me a gold digger, but what is there to dig for? You have nothing. You live with your parents. We broke up because it came to a point where I felt like I was an ATM and not her lover. The car insurance, his idea. The studio sessions, his idea. The tolls, his idea. So why should I pay for anything? America, you need to vote for me, because as soon as I ran out of money, she ran out the relationship. She was running like a track star. At this point, I feel like she was using me this whole time. America, vote for me. The only reason that he's suing me is because he wants me back. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you'll give in this case will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? If yes, signify by saying I do. I do. I do. All right, thank you very much. Judge, case 1009, Dallas versus Gomez. So, folks, uh, I'm Judge Raleigh, and uh, as you were instructed earlier uh, tonight, this case is going to be decided by the vote of the American people. I won't have to give the verdict tonight. It's going to come from the jury of the American public. I understand that um, um, you filed your case. I've looked through, read the uh, statements, and it appears that you were suing Ms. Gomez for $4,000 for money that you said was for car insurance, unpaid tolls, and studio sessions. Yes. And you said you don't owe him any money, that he said he was going to take care of you. I'm sorry, Your so Honor. So I read through some of the questions, I read through some of the uh, statements, and I got some questions. So I'm going to start off with you, Dallas. Tell me what happened in Miami. In Miami, well, I took her to Miami, ended up paying for everything. Everything went well. Why'd you go to Miami? We went to Miami because it was cold when I met her. I met her in February, and it was a little cold out, and she wanted to be warm, so we went to Miami. Three days in Miami, we get each other's name tattooed on each other, so this is a... <laughs> so this is, this is more like a... At, at first, we were both in love, is what I thought, so we, we did that. We got the tattoos. We had an well, amazing... How you know each other? At that point, a week. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I told him I didn't want to, in my defense. I said I didn't want to. He, he looks so sad. He's always so sad about everything. What was I supposed to Did do? Did you get a tattoo, too? I got his logo. Oh, uh, check her neck. It says Dylan on her neck. Okay. So continue on. So in your statement, you said something about the uh, blue check. Yes. on your social media. What's that? I, I, I'm kind of old school. I don't know what a blue check... I'm verified on Instagram. So on Instagram, like, celebrities and people that she wants to be with, are, they get a blue check. She'll never get a blue check. But you people don't like get me, blue check. People, it's fake. Pe you don't even have a blue check. Pe people, who, people who work hard in their career and go, go hard, they, they get what they deserve. And I've been making music for over 10 years, and I got what I deserve. I'm a blue sorry. Check. I never heard and none of his music that, before I met him. She thinks that just because so. I have a blue check, I'm a millionaire, or I'm like, I'm Jay-Z or somebody. I'm not any of these people. <laughs> he has a blue check that he paid for. It's fake. It's not real. All his followers are fake. He's a fraud. If you really think about it, Yarner, he tricked me. He has no money. How fake he has nothing to his name. He relies on his parents. How did he trick you, though? He tricked me because he tries to make it seem like he's a big baller. He okay. tries to make it seem like he's this big-time rapper. He's this big baller. You have no money. You rely on your parents. I How am I supposed I to rely no on you? I have no money because all my money went to her. I, no, yeah. you didn't have any money All when I met you in the first her. place. <laughs> Every okay, so dollar. Let, 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 let me ask you this question. There's something in your statement about you registering her car. Why would you do pay for the registration on her car and put it in your name? Because when I first met her, like I said, we were in love. We got her names tattooed. And she was, she, she was driving a car with no license, unregistered, uninsured. And me being a caring boyfriend, I wouldn't want my girlfriend driving a car unregistered. That what sounds if she like gets an offer to me. Over? They're going to well, take her car. Why wouldn't you just pay for the registration in her name? She doesn't have a license. You can't do that. She needs a license. Oh. You're driving with no license. Okay. All that's right. Not, that's not his business, though. It and is my I've business. If, if you're my girlfriend, it's, it's, it, would, it, was, it was my business. It was my business. But I never asked you, you to. You didn't ask me to? No, I never asked you to. That's something that you offered. It was a gift to me. So. Because you were crying. So you don't for... think you should have to pay that. 
I should have to. I mean, after it all, was a gift. you're wearing his tattoo, his First logo, of right? All, Where's that? What do you think? If you have a girl, you think you think having a girl is for free? You think having a girl is for free? Having a girl costs money, okay? Obviously, I'll spend money on my girl, but after a few months of you using me, you start to realize everything. I oh, never you think so? You. Yes. How okay. Can Very I use you. You, you have Very nothing used. to use. You live with your mom. You have nothing to use. You live with okay, your so, mom. Okay, so okay? I live with I live with my mom, and I'm paying all her bills. I'm paying. She what? has a phone bill, and I'm paying her family's phone bill, not just her, her mother and her brother. I pay my own bills. I work at the no, club. Don't. I'm okay. a bartender. He she, doesn't. He doesn't support my career. She works at the club and doesn't make a dollar. He I'll drop her off at work at eight o'clock. She'll get out at four a.m. I'll say, baby, how much did you make? Because I just paid her to go to work. I pay her to work. She needs an outfit to work at, the, at these strip clubs. So I'm paying sixty dollars for you to go that to was work. One time she that she you gets paid. out. She gets one out for time. eight after eight hours. Hey baby, how was work? Oh, I only made one fifty. So that means you made forty dollars because I gave you sixty to work. So how are you making forty dollars in eight hours? At the end of the day, how long? Every night in the club is not good, but I could go to the club and I could make three thousand. Okay, thank you. All right, now let me ask you this question: How long were you guys together total? Actually, today would have been our anniversary, the fourteenth. It would have been seven months. Seven months. And how long have you been split up? About two, two months now. A okay. Two months. And what, for you, was the straw that broke the camel's back? What, what caused the separation? Her going to work. <laughs> her go, her go, uh, he asked me a question. Her going to work and flirting with everybody. Her going to work, me picking her up from work. When she's drunk, she falls asleep. That's and the so owner of the owner of the spot she works at is calling her and texting her phone. Hey, can you come back? Are you still Learning there? It's part of my Ms. job. Ms. Gomez, what do you do for a living? I'm a bartender. I'm a model. I do bottle service. Okay. Um, at the end of Cloud the day, chaser. so bottle service is basically bottle wait, service. Waitress. I have to take out my okay. bottles. I may have to do a little dance, you know. At the end of the day, he doesn't like that. He's too clingy. He's too jealous. If he sees me serving a customer, a customer may say, Hey, thank you for your drink. Thank you for the drink. Beautiful. He'll get upset. He'll say, Thank you for the drink. Can I get your number? And then and she gets. The I number. My number, that's part of my job too, because I have to I have to ask them like, hey, do you want to come see me next week when I'm behind the bar? That's how I make my customers. You're too clingy for me. That's why I couldn't do it. What, what, I already have a four-year-old. I right. can't do another kid. What cu what customers? Because you only make what a hundred dollars in eight hours. So what customers do you really have? Okay, so let me let, let me just stop you right there. So whose idea was it about this one thousand dollar easy pass budget mr dulles <laughs> it was my idea because at that, first when, she, when, I, when I registered the car and i insured the car okay. i gave her my easy pass to my motorcycle and i said you know what use that and when she used that easy pass she ran it up and then i took the easy pass away i gave her a budget of a thousand dollars for the easy gave pass me a budget. she, he told she me. passed that budget within one month what's what then so tell me about this studio session Oh wait, mind that she she ran it up the, the easy pass because she wants to be everywhere. She wants to be in the Bronx. She well, wants I to be got the Queens. thousand dollar easy everywhere. pass. Tell me about the studio session. The studio session. We pro she promised to go half on every studio session because she wants to be a superstar. I never she wants anything. to be. A, what, I don't what know what you're talking about. She met me as about? an artist. I make music. I'm an artist, so. She what music do you make? I make hip hop, rap music, and when I met her, she knew that, and she wanted to be down as well and make music. So I started paying for studio sessions. That's not true. She Your promised honor. to go I half, so and I haven't seen. Right? Yes, he I, ne knows that he I never seen a dollar. I never seen a dollar from this girl in my life. Okay. So um, basically, you're saying um, that uh, you never ever agreed. I What's never agreed to pay him back, Your Honor. All this was a gift. To me, he's too clingy. That's why I left him. Every time I gotta do a music video, I do music videos for big time rappers, way bigger than him. Every time I gotta do a music video, he always cries. He begs me not to go. He literally tells me, baby, I'll pay you. I'll pay you to not go. I'm okay, sorry. let me ask you this. How are you saying that he defamed you on social media? He he defamed me on social media because when I broke up with him, because he's too clingy, he went on social media and told the world that I'm a bad mom and that I was a drunk, which is not true. Did you ever make an agreement with him to pay him back any money? No, I didn't, Your ever. Honor. Did you ever have a conversation about paying back any money? Of course I did. And of when, course I did. And when did that happen? At the beginning of this relationship or Once what? Once the car got registered, I let her know, listen, you have to pay for your insurance every month. I already have two cars that I'm paying for under my own name. Your Honor, Why should I have I've to pay for to your pay the insurance? I've tried to give him money. He doesn't take it. He says no because if okay, I take Okay, let me just money, stop you right there because I want to get a point out really quick. How much money did you pay for the car registration? 
For the car registration, yeah. I, I the car registration you're, must you're have been. You're suing for four thousand. We yes. got the thousand the dollar easy pass. Then we got the studio session and the car registration. The, the studio session right here shows that uh, I paid six hundred dollars. I paid six hundred. But that should for... be on him, Your Honor. I could go to the studio with any rapper, like I said. Yeah, with I any rapper. I don't need him. I, I don't need him. He, he offered to take me to these places. Right. So why should I have to pay? And how much for the car registration? Car registration was about two to three hundred dollars. She owes about seven to eight hundred for um, easy passes. He complained about car insurance. On top of car that, me, me, me. On top of that, uh, that's so nothing. Now, you don't you, make that at eight hours. Did you also say something about? in your statement about how he gives you a, uh, a accounting of yeah, all the money every week? Every week, every, he'll he'll tell me, baby, I want to take you to go get your hair done, or baby, let me go take you to buy you an outfit. Literally, he'll tally up everything: food, dinner, gas, everything, oh, everything. Man. And then at the end of the week, he'll say, That's baby, it. you know what, baby? This week I spent fifteen hundred. So, you know, I think that you should at least give me something for such and such. I didn't ask you. Give you right. decided to oh, offer that to me. Give you something for such and such. Give you like, what? Like, you should give like me something. Like, pay you back? Yeah. Like, I should give him something like a portion or and I should throw something And did he do this up. right from the beginning of your relationship? At the nope. beginning, at the beginning, when we first met, went to Miami for as long as I can remember, he used to complain a lot about money. But I guess I didn't read into it at first. I honestly thought that he was a rapper. He does have a blue check. He does have a lot of followers. And he does do music, but he's not as lit as he tries to make himself seem. When we were talking, uh, you said something about being used. At what point did you feel used? Um, honestly, probably from the beginning. But I honestly, I was watching a, a podcast from Andrew Tate, and he was talking about how women use men and that's when my eyes opened, and that's when I started putting the pieces to the I puzzle. could never use you. You don't drive a Benz. You don't drive a Monty. Why do I need to drive you a Benz? You drive a Honda. <laughs> you don't drive nothing good. You don't have nothing for me to okay. use you with. That's enough. That's enough. OK. It's better than a 2,000-year Dodge okay. Avenger. At least it's mine, and my parents ain't is paying it, for is it. Is it yours? Because it's, it's registered under my name. At least my parents ain't registered my car. Your hey. dad literally paid for your car. That's enough. That's enough. Never. Let me ask you a quick question. I saw you getting emotional. You're talking about the... Um, Being used the, and how yeah. she's a gold digger and how she uses so me every you, time, yeah. Do you still love her? I, I can't love a girl who uses me for my money. I would love... I would love to be in love with her if she didn't love me for just the money. Just she doesn't ask, love Dilly. She loves dollars. She I doesn't, just said yes or no question. Do you still love her? No, I can't. I, I can't. It's hard. It's hard to love... No, I can't. So listen up. No. Uh, what, I'm, what I've basically heard is that you two go to Miami and you're there for about a week and you must have fell in love because you tattooed each other's bodies with your names on them. Yeah. Then you did several things financially for her when you got into this relationship for several months. Now, whether you asked her uh, or to or not, she still appeared at the studio in your music video. So um, we'll have to see um, what America says. Um, you know, they were instructed to listen. Their votes are in. They've been tallied. So, Bailiff Mack, let's see what the American public says. Not even a close vote. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. 71% to 29% in favor of the plaintiff. For $4,000, this case is closed. Ridiculous. I'm so upset. I can't on, believe man. this. <laughs> he shouldn't have won. Won for what? Well he shouldn't have won. Done, well done, Ridiculous. Well he, I don't owe him anything. He don't deserve that money. He don't it's deserve that money. Something. He should have hey, never won. Hello. He don't deserve that money. Won for what? <laughs> At the end of the day, what he thinks? A girl is free? Having a girl is free? He don't deserve none of that. I think the judge only did that because he's a man. Of course he's gonna side with another man.